jumping. Yep. He couldn't function. And then they took his food away. He actually starved to death because they wouldn't feed him. And uh, yeah, I want my service to be one of joy. I do too. And, uh, Me too. Now Tracy knows how, uh, how what I uh, want there to one meet, so does Pastor Bob, and uh, so does my uh, my home church. Yes, and uh, that's what I want too, Mark. And I told Tracy, you guys, when I pass away, you better not be sad because I will come back and I will hunt. <laughs> so he's a good man. He is. I think it's time for him to be ordained. I think he's ready. I no. seriously think he's ready. It really depends on what he is, because, uh, what he really feels that God is I think him I think that God is calling him to that, and he, uh, he's been open-minded to it, and I said, you know how much pleasure I would have in being able to lay my hands on you and say, a dear brother in the Lord, yeah. may he who began a good work in you bring it to fulfillment, and, uh, and I just, uh, I'm still nervous of the day when my bishop is going to lay his hands on me and uh, say, I say to, to the yes. uh, uh, dear brother Mark that thou art forever a priest in the, uh, uh, in the Church of God in the order of Melchizedek. Yeah. So, boy, that's going to be some powerful work. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I have read are... that um, about as much as the Bible has on Mount Tizadak. Yep. Uh, so, and some of the controversy can, around that issue. Some Bible scholars feel he was the pre-Christ incarnate, and others feel that he wasn't, so he was a uh, human being. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, so, but we've got some thinking to do, Mark. We do. and it's going to be okay because oh, yeah. uh, the thing is, in, in, in terms of your future, you have a, a really strong I future do. ahead of you. And just know that uh, when, uh, when you cross from this life to the next, on God's grand scheme of time, it won't be much time and I'll be joining you up there. Not much time on His grand scheme of time. Uh huh. So, and I look forward to the day when we can be united uh, and be, uh, in heaven and never be separated again. Never. Me too. And I think Matthew, we've got to. We pray for him hard. We do. Have you Is heard it? anything? I new? haven't. He's just a stubborn. I think he gets a stubbornness for me. We're going to have to <laughs> include him in the decision making process if we can. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But an awful lot of that is going to fall on you. Yep. And, and I'm certainly uh, competent to handle it. I know you are. I'm so, yeah. But that motion is you've got your life so too, Mark. Yep. You got to consider you and how much you're, how much, how, what is an even balance if oh, there yeah. is such a thing? Oh, uh, define even balance, define normality. There, is, there, is there a true definition of normal these days? I mean, not really. But, you know. <laughs> Well, I've got some, uh, we've got to just trust the Lord for this, yeah. Mark. Just to really trust the Lord. But you seem to be pretty stable right now. I so am. You're doing good right now. So and while and, we're... And you're taking this bull by the horns, and that's really, really good. You're taking it seriously. Yeah. Thank so, you. I think yeah. so, too. By the way, my uh, refrigerator was actually repaired today, so uh, the one that I had was a temporary one. Oh. And so, uh, so the uh, old one is now working, and uh, later tonight I'll move the food back into it. Oh, cool. And uh, then you got I'll it in your.